Hello all, Ankit this side. In this video, we are going to learn about how to migrate our S3 bucket to Azure container using AZ copy. To learn about this particular topic, the first thing what we need is we need a AZ copy exe file in our local machine. So how we can download? So first of all, just go to Google and search download AZ copy. So when I just click on that, the first link which we are getting here, so just click on that particular link. Click on download AZ copy and as per your system requirement, we can download. So I'm using Windows operating system. So I'm just going to click on Windows. So here system is start downloading the AZ copy file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a folder giving the name as migrate. Under this folder, I'm just going to put that zip file also. Here is it. And I'm going to extract this file folder. Done. Now open this folder. Under this, I got AZ copy and that particular AZ copy I'm going to put in our folder. Now we can delete those existing folders. So here I'm getting the AZ copy exe file. Next thing what we need to do is we need to open command prompt. Here I'm getting and just change the location to this particular folder. Next thing what we need to do is we need to log in our Azure account here with the help of AZ copy login. So how we can log in? We have a command called AZ copy login hyphen hyphen tenant hyphen ID equal to tenant ID. So here we need to give our tenant ID. So first thing is you need to log into your Azure account. I have already logged into my Azure account. So I can get the tenant ID from enter ID service. So I'm going to enter ID. Taking some time here, I'm getting the tenant ID, which I'm going to note down and I'm going to put here. So just copy and paste enter. Now, when I press enter, Now we are logging it. Now it is asking me to open this URL in your browser and enter this code. So let me copy this URL. Enter this URL. Asking for a code. Copy the code. Paste here. Click on next. Now give your email ID and password. Click on continue. Now you can see here, we are able to log in by using AZ login. Now, what is that next step? The next step is I need one S3 bucket. So I already created a bucket with the name training self and this particular bucket I have created in US East region. And under this particular bucket, I have already uploaded one file also with the name nature.jpg. So this is what we need. We already have. Then I need one storage account in Azure. I already have with the name self online training. And here we have container option. I don't have any container which we have because this is a default container I am getting here with the name dollar locks with the dollar sign and locks i'm getting it now we don't need to create a container because when we are going to migrate or whatever the bucket name we have in s3 system will automatically create our container with the same name here now next thing is i need 
access key and secret key of my user. I'm using a root user. For my root user, I have already generated access key and secret key. So the next thing what we need to do is, and after our login of AZ copy, I need to set my access key and secret key. Because from that particular account, it will pick the data. So how can I set? Here is that particular option we have set. Access key ID set, secret key. So copy access key. Paste here. Copy secret key. And I'm going to paste here. So just copy. Enter. And again copy, paste. Done. I have set my access key and secret key here. Now, next thing. Next thing is I need to generate SAS for my bucket. So here we have SAS. Just check all the check boxes and click on generate SAS. So when I, once we click on SAS, here I'm getting the blob service SAS URL, which we need to copy. So I'm going to copy this one. And here I need to give that particular SAS URL. And here I need to give the region name for from which region I'm copying the data. And I will just North Virginia region and the name of the word North Virginia region is actual name is US hyphen East hyphen. So that's what we need to give here slash our bucket name. What is my bucket name? Training self. Copy, paste, enter. I have just only one single file and you can see here the status is showing us as completed and the one file is transfer. Now, I can go to containers. You can see here, I got a container with the name training self. And under that particular container, I got one file with the name nature.jpg. So this is how you can migrate your S3 bucket to Azure storage account service call container. So this is what we have all. Thank you all. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day. Thank you.